Good morning, Libra. It's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly for the 16th to the 22nd of December. What is happening for Libra? Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I'm enjoying doing the readings still. I love getting up every day and doing the readings. Helps me get a little bit of insight too, which is pretty awesome. Um, if you're a, a, a loyal subscriber, thank you very much for staying with me and supporting me. And if you're new, welcome on board. Lots of thanks there. Um, if you're um, interested in joining my Facebook page too, I offer readings um, as competitions. I try to do one weekly, but it doesn't always work out that way. Um, but you can join up and enter into the competitions mostly weekly. And if you want a personal reading from me, all the details are below. Just... Um, Check out what there is to offer on my website at www.theaussiegoddess.com. I want to get into the reading, actually. Okay, so the first card you've got out here is the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is representative of the water signs. So it could be a Scorpio uh, Cancer Pisces that you're dealing with here. If it's about his personality, it's a man who is generally quite um, in control of his emotions. Sometimes he can seem a little cold. Um, but for the most part, he's very um, he's very composed and very very understanding. But let's see how we go with that. Okay, so the first card we've got here is the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Ten of Pentacles talks of an inheritance. It talks of um, having an increase in your finances, being abundant. Um, you may have got a payout from someone. You may be expecting a payout from someone, but definitely some sort of abundance coming to you here. It could be abundance of anything, really. Now, we have the Queen of Swords here. So the Queen of Swords can be a Libra Gemini Aquarius, but she's very much about the energy of who she is. So Queen of Swords is, um, she's very direct. She's very straight to the point. She does have a sword ready if she needs to cut someone out, so she has no problem doing that. At her worst, she can be a bit spiteful and bitchy um, and have an energy of being very uh, sharp with her words. So she's keen to um, to deliver the, like the truth, so she stands in her truth. However, she's not unhappy to cut you out of the way if you're going against what she wants. Okay, so then we have the Six of Wands. Now, the Six of Wands talks of victory. Um we see a man riding into town and everybody appreciating him be, being there. So this is sometimes about public recognition, um, accolades, winning, um, winning, you know, so awards and things like that. But it's sometimes just about being recognised for something you've done well. Okay, and then I have the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles is the Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But again, if it's about the energy, this man is very down to earth. He's generous, honest. He is a little bit work focused. He is like focused on his money a little bit more than the other star signs. Um, but he's highly organized and very um, ambitious. Okay, and then we have the Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands is a man who, or a woman, I keep saying man, sorry, they can apply either way. Please remember that. Energies flip-flop as well. Um, I heard somebody saying something yesterday, and I thought, don't be too stuck on the signs either, because some of the readers, like, really push the signs. And in my in my experience, um, it's mostly about the energies of people. So even though you maybe say... Um, a Capricorn, you may present much more as um, a water sign. Um, so it's all about what's in your chart. So we do grab at the first thing that comes to us. And I do know that some of the signs do sit with who they're supposed to be. Uh, but sometimes a fire sign can be just someone who's very passionate and warm about what they're doing. Um, a Knight of Wands is, um, is the card of the one night stand, the 
person that's in and out of your life very quickly, um, person who isn't good at commitment or doesn't want to at this moment. So if you've got someone who comes up as a Knight of Wands, it doesn't mean they will always be the Knight of Wands. It just might be that they are a Knight of Wands in this particular instant. So this sometimes is about someone who won't commit or doesn't want to commit. Could be someone you've had a one night stand with. Um, but it doesn't mean they won't come up as another sign later. <laughs> and then we have a Knight of Pentacles here. How about that? So the Knight of Pentacles is a much slower moving knight, unlike the Knight of Wands. Um, but this one brings much more stability and he brings it in the form of a pentacle, which means he wants something stable and long lasting. This is a card of action too. So there's some sort of request here from somebody who may have been a one night stand previously. OK, and then we have the Seven of Pentacles. Now, the Seven of Pentacles talks of manifesting putting your plans into action, being patient, waiting, waiting, waiting for things to grow. Okay, and then we have the lovers. So the lovers is, um, somebody said to me the other day, I didn't mention their sign when they were talking about uh, a, a soulmate coming in. And I think every time I see this, it's a card of Gemini, but... As I said, I don't concentrate too hard on the signs because I really do find that even in personal readings, it just my energies seem to come through as the energies of the person rather than the star signs. So take them with a grain of salt. Remember, it is a general reading. Um, so the lovers is a card of the twin flames, two people coming together in absolute joy and ecstasy. I can't tell you they're face to face like the soulmates, but. It definitely is a beautiful card there. Okay, and then I have the Ace of Swords here. So this is my favourite Ace. I love this Ace because it means you're walking forward in your truth. You have great clarity about your direction. You're really focused on your path ahead and you're going forward with meaning. Okay, Libra, I can see a story unfolding here. For some of you here, this is about... Um, having an offer from somebody you may have had a one night stand with who's coming back to offer you some sort of stability. Looks like they have a bit more to tell you, definitely a truth to tell you, and they want to have a new start with you. Um, this is something you may have manifested, but it's going to come um, it's going to come in. This person could have a lot of earth in their chart though. Uh, so if you're dealing with someone who has a lot of earth here, but there's a truth being exchanged here between the two of you. This is actually bringing an abundance here. Um, this person, as I said, you could have had a fling with them before. Remember at the top of the reading, I was saying how sometimes that comes across. This person may have been a bit of a fly by night and may have been having trouble committing previously, maybe a bit of a player. Um, but he's definitely coming in to offer you something long term here and it's very possible he is your twin flame um, but definitely coming in to offer you something more stable coming in with the truth here, he wants to tell you something and I keep saying he and I guess we do that because we're females but it could be a she as well so please don't discount that or a he if it's same sex um, but definitely somebody coming in with a very different approach to some sort of relationship or something you've had with them before. This is a huge victory for you, but I feel like both of you are telling a truth here. Um, both of you opening up feelings and communication big time, um, which is bringing in abundance for you. Um, but this is meant to be. This is the lovers here. So the last card here is, oh, that wasn't good. Heartbreak. Okay. That changes the whole reading, really. So it may be that this person was, you know, not wanting to commit before, and maybe now they're wanting to commit, commit. Maybe you are offering them a different explanation here. Maybe you're not wanting to commit at this time. Someone's going to get broken hearted, though, because of this. It could go either way. It doesn't really doesn't really tell me which way it's going but definitely somebody you've had some sort of dalliance with whatever you'd like to call it fling um who wants to be with you wants to give you a truth here wants to move forward with you but for some unknown reason there's a 
sword up being held by you that may be saying no and it could be vice versa you could have fallen in love with this person and they're not interested at the moment but whatever's happening here it's ending in some sort of heartbreak now i could tell you this has three swords in it and it's possible it's third party but you know what again in my experience that third sword can be some other sort of interference family interference friends interference could be third party without any doubt, but it looks to me like you've got something else in the equation here. Um, and that's why you're worried about moving forward. Um, for them, it could be they have something that they don't want to commit to because they've got something happening here that doesn't allow them to commit. So it was a really nice reading until I put the last card down. <laughs> but anyway, they're going to come in and tell you the truth. They're going to have words with you, but for some known reason, it just turns out that you don't you don't hit it off after that. How very interesting. Oh, here we go. And the card of you are gifted comes out. It says you're very intelligent and talented. You are gifted. So maybe it's telling you that so you don't feel bad about what's going to happen here. But anyway, that's your reading, Libra. Have a fantastic week.